My name is Denis Truhanovs. I'm Head of Innovation in Microtik. Today I'm going to show you how to set up LTAP LTE LoRa kit for sending LoRa packets over LTE. So LTAP is a Microtik LTE access point that features 800 MHz LoRa interface, LTE Category 4 modem, 1 gigabit Ethernet port, and 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. It's made in a weatherproof case, so we can mount it outside on a wall or a pole. So when you open LTAP kit box, you will find power adapter, fastening set and adapter cable for powering directly from car or truck DC power. If you plan mounting LTAP on a pole, you should buy separate U-bolts and insert in these mounting holes. So it will look like this. Just your LTAP goes here. So before starting, you should insert your SIM card in slot number 2. Please pay attention to your SIM card contact orientation showed in this picture and in SIM slot number where you put your SIM card. The first one, the first SIM slot is not active because the mini PCIe slot will be occupied by LoRa interface. And the third SIM will be switchable in the software. So let's start with powering up and first setup. For the setup you can use either your web browser or Microtik setup app for Windows called Winbox. You can download it from Microtik web page. For this demo, I will use web browser. So first of all, please make sure that your Ethernet interface has fixed address of 192.168.88 range. So it will look like in my setup. At the first setup, the router will offer you a quick setup page where you can add Wi-Fi password, input pin for your SIM, or change APN address for LTE interface. Here you also can add password for your admin account. After adding this information, just press apply configuration. All right. Put one more symbol. All right, let's go to the configuration page, WebVic. For here, you can see the interfaces. You just need to double click LTE interface and check your interface status. If the pin status is OK and functionality is full, then use your interface is up and running. If it's not, you should check the SIM orientation and uh, SIM slot number. Here you can see my mobile operator and uh, signal strength. So it's registered up and running. Now it's time to configure LoRa interface. Let's go to the LoRa menu tab. Here you can see LoRa gateway interface, which is disabled by default. And please note that you can change the settings for LoRa interfaces only for disabled interface. Let's go to the servers tab. Here you can see available network servers that were predefined for this demo. You can add new one, so you can use uh, your private network server or any other. Now let's click, let's double click gateway interface. Here you can see gateway ID, channel plan, antenna gain, and here you need to add network server address. You will see drop-down menu from the network servers available. 
okay let's apply and enable the interface so at this moment you need to add a lower antenna to RF interface so please know that lower interface is this upper connector and uh, this SMA is uh, for GPS interface. So now let's check the traffic. All right, we see a lot of join requests, which is good. Now let's proceed with a uh, TTI cloud. I started adding gateway so I copy gateway ID from here and uh, let's put the frequency plan and that's it all right, I should change it. Okay, we can see uplink messages. The gateway is connected. So that's about that. Thank you for your attention and your time. Have a great day.